Okay, now that we've learned how to multiply mixed numbers and mixed numbers, we're going to multiply mixed numbers with whole numbers. The process is pretty much the same, just with whole numbers, we have to once again create a fraction. So let's start with our mixed number of 1 and 1 third. I'm going to change that into an improper fraction. So once again, going back to my last lesson, I multiply my, numer uh, my number, my whole number, times my denominator, 1 times 3, and then I'm going to add it to my numerator. So that gives me the improper fraction of 1 times 3 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, I now have 4 thirds as my first fraction. Now, when I have a whole number, I have to think about how I could turn this into a fraction. Whenever you have a whole number, basically what you do is you put that number over 1. Okay? 4 over 1 is equal to 4. Okay? Think about it. Basically what this line is telling you to do is to divide. 1 goes into 4, 4 times. They are equivalent. They're equal to each other. We have an improper fraction, so we're ready to work. So now, once again, knowing what I already know, with multiplying fractions, all I need to do is multiply numerator times numerator. 4 times 4 gives me 16 and denominator times denominator. 3 times 1 gives me 3. Now, once again, whenever I have an improper fraction, in my last step, I must simplify. And that means turning this improper fraction back into a mixed number. So I'm going to divide 3 into 16. 3 goes into 16 5 times. 3 times 5 is 15, and I'm left with a remainder of 1. So 16 thirds is equal to, our answer gives us our whole number, which is 5. Our remainder of 1 gives us our numerator, and our denominator stays the same. So 16 thirds is equal to 5 and 1 third, and that is our answer in